Hi guys, this is Rachel Productions coming to you with a new tutorial, Blender 2.64 Cycles. What we're going to be looking at is the new uh, spotlight that wor finally works in Cycles. And um, the tutorial I was going to do was how to get around that problem because we didn't have it up until now. Um, but there is still one issue and that is the cone of light that is not working with the spotlight so I'm going to be showing you how we can get around that alright now we have a default cube which we will just create our little scene uh, we'll select these two sides and delete them I'm going to add an object um, let's add um, text object Rotate that around X90, scale it down, grab it along Z. Alright, and there's our object. Let's just move it across along the X axis a little bit. And that. There. And what I want to do is just give that property of 0.2. I'm also going to give this box a bit of a darkish color. Alright. So we'll press Shift C and there we will add the spotlight. Okay. The size of this lamp spotlight is not going to um, affect the size of your uh, area of light here. What will be the best thing to do to start off with is to bring the size down to zero. All right, immediately you have a more focused light and secondly um, your size is the same size that you, um, you, you want this area to be. Now there's a problem here, if we look at our properties, we've got all these options. It says here show cone. Now if we press that, nothing really happens. Well, I, I don't see anything happen. Okay, so what we need to do is create a cone of light. Okay, we'll add a mesh object. Now the object that we're going to use, most people would say, well, let's go with a cone. However, it's easier just to select the circle and you'll see why in a minute going to top view um, scale it down um, we're going to bring it down there just scale a little bit more All right I brought it below the floor um, let us select the vertices only in edit mode we're going to extrude them only along the z-axis upwards and press S to scale them in. Alright, so what do we have here now? Well, we have an open ended cone. Now, um, you'll notice that there are lines, so we want to smooth this. But before we do, let's just select in edit mode all the vertices and normalize the normals by pressing Ctrl plus N. And you'll notice over here, make normals consistent. Right, so that is done. Now we need to uh, smooth it out. Okay, looking good. Let's add a subdivision surface modifier and we'll leave it at that setting in the random. Right, so let's give this cone some material. And yes, you've guessed it, we've got to give it something that is transparent. I'm going to choose glass. Right. Immediately when we choose glass, we find that there is what is called index of refraction. Okay, um, that's what this IOR is. If the light is bent by the glass uh, as though it were a lens. We don't want any lens effect, so we bring it down to zero. And in fact, let's type it into zero. Um, you probably could leave it at 1 as well, but I'd like 0. I'm going to go into the compositing 
section. Using our node editor for materials, we'll find our light, our, our, our cone of light, the glass materials there. And what we're going to do now <coughs> is add another shader. So I'm going to first use add shader node. I'm then going to shift A to add another shader as I said and this shader is going to be transparent adding that to that now we do see something happening um, not looking too bad rendered at about 18 samples only there we're going to parent the um, spotlight to the cone so we select both and um, there we go so if we move the cone now the spotlight will follow and um, what we also want to create I'm just going to press shift C to center the, the cursor there and um, let's just add a an empty <coughs> we'll just scale it down a bit and to grab it down the oops down the Z axis to the bottom there. Alright, and we are now going to parent the cone <coughs> to the empty. So that if we move the empty, that will move with. Alright, now we're going to select the cone and the spotlight together with the empty and <coughs> shift D to duplicate that. Alright, we now have two spotlights. Alright, immediately what I'm going to do is select the first spotlight. In materials over here, I'm going to create, a, uh, let me rather go here. I'm going to make this a single user object. I'm going to call this cone 2, and the previous one we'll call cone 1. Alright, that's the separate material. And you'll note now, if I add just a slight tinge of blue, it creates a spotlight effect as well. Now we can um, select the spotlight itself and add a bluish color to that as well. But I find that um, sometimes it's a bit over the top. I prefer for this project a more subtle effect. Let's do the same. Yeah, but let's add a greenish tinge and there we have it alright the next thing we're going to do is animate these uh, spotlights what I want to do here is just make sure that my camera view is correct so I'm going to position my scene <coughs> so that um, the tops of these spotlights are not visible more or less there I can press Control alt and 0 and then I can shift F oh. ok this is easier said than done right, we're going to have a little more control when we're not in um, cycles render mode it seems to work a little faster um, all right, let's see what that looks like okay that's not too bad and um, maybe just a tad out and tad in right. great Um, well, it just gives us an idea anyway. Um, going back here, we are going to top view, and I'm just going to create a sort of a circular motion of the spotlight, just to give you an idea. Uh, we're going to press RR, that will give us rotation, but before we have do that, we have to select rotation on the cursor. Cursor is at the top, yes. So if I select the the empty and I press RR, it's going to rotate our spotlight in that order there. Okay, so let's 
do that rr oh, I need to also um, split this area here we're going to add um, the dope sheet just to give us a time frame okay now let's insert our keyframes um, selecting our uh, empty RR and let's just position from what we can see here okay mm, get rid of that okay RR um, yeah it's just about there now what we need to do as well is make sure that the cone is not uh, um, coming above the floor here as you can see so I'm going to just bring it to about there that will do okay let's put that keyframe in there and then rotate will RR bring it to about there uh, sorry we'll need to select that first RR and I location rotation go to the next point RR bring it around to about oh, there um, I location rotation okay next position RR something like that I location rotation and finally we're going to just bring it to the center um, RR again and more or less to there and I location rotation keyframed alright let's just get an idea of how this looks so what we're going to do is just select our sampling over here to B1 that should be fine and I'm going to alt A to play our our uh, timeline all right, so it just gives us an idea of the motion of that spotlight. We don't need to have too much detail of that. All right, and then this one, <coughs> I'm going to just um, I'll cursor there. Alright, and we're just going to rotate it a little bit. Again, just watch that the cone is not above the floor. So let me RR again, rotate, bring it just about there, and insert the keyframe. And you know what? Let's just undo all that. Control Z, Z. Um, let's rather bring. Uh, just make sure one controls it. Let's rather bring this a little closer so that we don't have to raise that cone too much. Alright, so it's going to be cursor back here, more or less. Alright, and rotate. Let's go to the top view rather, Ro rotate it there a little bit. And insert our keyframe. Okay, then we'll go next to this one. Okay, I'm just checking that that is not moving to that key. No, that's fine. Okay, so let's just go to the top view again. Um, next position for the green light. We could just do it, say, there, I, location, um, R, R, somewhere over there, I, location, and RR and woo, let's just bring it about there. Let's finish it off a little earlier with this one. I uh, location and we'll just leave it there for now. And what I'm going to do is render all that and then we'll see how it came out.